This is a truth I should have shared, but I was too afraid. He deserves to know everything, even if it's too late to salvage what we had. Last year, I, 24 female, made a terrible choice. I betrayed the one person who has always stood by me, who loved me unconditionally, my husband, 27. We hadn't even been married for a full year when I did something that destroyed our relationship. I had an affair with someone who used to be a mutual friend. It lasted for six months, and yes, we were physically intimate. We would meet in a hotel near where we both worked, away from prying eyes, and each time, I knew what I was doing was wrong. But I didn't stop it. I allowed my desires to control me, and for that, I am deeply sorry. I ended the affair after realizing how much damage I was causing, but by that point, it was too late. The damage was already done. My affair partner, someone I thought I could trust, turned on me. When I tried to distance myself from him and refocus on my marriage, he retaliated by telling my husband about everything. My husband confronted me, and at first I was so scared and ashamed that I tried to deny it. I didn't want to believe that this was really happening, that I had let things get so out of control. But my husband didn't back down. He got AP to send him pictures and videos of us together, which completely humiliated me. After all my lies were laid bare, everything fell apart. My husband left. He packed up his things and walked out the door, and in that instant, I knew that I had shattered our relationship beyond repair. What hurts the most is that it wasn't because of anything my husband did. He was everything to me. He loved me, cared for me, and we had a future together. It's truly baffling that the fault of this affair lies entirely with me. I was the one who let my desires and poor judgment take control, and I have to take full responsibility for that. Ever since he left, the guilt has been eating me alive. I wanted to tell him the truth before it all came out, but I was too much of a coward. I thought I could keep it hidden, that I could make up for it in other ways, but AP's actions took that choice away from me. He deserved the truth from the beginning, and I should have been brave enough to tell him myself. Now every day feels like a punishment. I think about the love I betrayed, the trust I destroyed. My husband wasn't just my partner, he was my best friend, my family, and my home, and I ruined that. I see now how deeply I hurt him, and I hate myself for it. We were planning a future together. We talked about starting a family, and now those dreams are gone. The weight of knowing that I've lost all of that because of my own foolishness is unbearable. I've tried to reach out to him, but he won't respond. I can't blame him for that. Every day I wake up with the overwhelming feeling that I've lost the best thing in my life, and I truly might have. I don't know if he will ever come back or if he can ever forgive me. I can't force him to, and I wouldn't blame him if he chose to move on without me. But if there is even the slightest chance that he might give me another opportunity to make things right, I want to take it. I want to rebuild our relationship and regain his trust, even if it might prove to be futile in the end. If he ever reads this, I want him to know that I'm sorry. I'm so deeply, truly sorry. I know it's too late to undo the pain I've caused, but I hope one day he can find it in his heart to heal, whether that's with or without me. My biggest hope is that he finds happiness again, even if I'm not part of it. To anyone who reads this, I hope my story serves as a warning. If you're struggling in your relationship, talk to your partner. Don't make the same mistake I did. Betrayal only leads to more pain, and it's not worth the cost of losing the person you love. Update. Yes, I will be divorced at 24, not even having celebrated our first anniversary. I can't even begin to express the weight of that. I hear you and understand why you feel this way, why you're choosing to end things. I hurt you in a way that can never be undone. But I have to ask, even knowing all of that, is this truly the end? Is it really too cruel to ask for just one chance to fix what I broke? We spent five years together, going through everything life threw at us. We supported each other, made plans for a future, and at one point, I believed we were unbreakable. But I made one, albeit horrible, mistake. I betrayed your trust, and I know that. I see it now in ways I didn't before. But does that really mean I don't deserve at least one chance to make things right? If you did what I did, I wouldn't have thrown away everything we had all at once. I wouldn't give up like that. I'd have faith on us. 
Always. To this day, I am still struggling to take full responsibility for the destruction I brought into your life. I see that now. I cannot even imagine how difficult it must be for you to see the woman you once loved and nurtured be the very one who destroyed everything you held dear. I know that the pain I caused was immense, and for that, I am deeply sorry. My actions were destructive, unloving, and selfish. I can see how they brought complete devastation to your heart, and it's been hard for me to fully understand the depth of that. I was so wrong to do what I did, and I now recognize that what I put you through feels like emotional abuse. It's hard for me to accept that I was the cause of such pain, but it's even harder to realize how blind I was to it all as it was happening. I wanted a healthy relationship with you, but I see now just how far I am from being healthy myself. I was failing to see the toxic patterns within myself, the ways in which I was hurting you, and the ways I was afraid to confront my own fears and insecurities. Fear has governed so much of my behavior, and while I know now that fear isn't the way to live life, I also understand that acknowledging my faults doesn't erase the damage I've done. The trauma I caused you didn't just erase over with time, as I once naively hoped it might. If it had, you wouldn't still feel the depth of pain, despair, and resentment that I know you're feeling now. And that's on me. I wanted to be someone who could contribute to your healing rather than causing you more pain. But I know that in order to do that, I have to grow and take responsibility for my actions. That chance was taken away when I betrayed you. For now, please take the space you need. I know that focusing on your body and your mind is what you need most right now. This situation feels toxic for both of us. And the last thing I want is to make it worse. You deserve peace. And while I wish I could be a part of that healing, I know that it may no longer be possible. I hope you find peace in whatever path you choose. Please know that despite everything, I will always regret the pain I caused and the person I became in our relationship. I truly wish you nothing but healing and happiness, even if it's without me. Story 2. 23 Male my girlfriend, 23 female of three years, cheated on me over a break during long distance relationship. My girlfriend and I live far away during the summers, but attend college at the same time. We decided to take a break over the summer in June, as it was difficult with jobs to make time for each other. We got back to school in September and she revealed she was seeing someone else, a fling with a guy she had a crush on and slept with once, so I am told. I don't know how to trust her after this, I have had lots of sleepless nights worrying about this and wondering if I am even someone she truly cares about or just a placeholder. She has told me that I mean more than she realized at the time, and in hindsight it was a stupid decision. Yet her actions don't line up with her words. Lately it has just been me that makes the effort to make plans. I love her, but she does not reciprocate the same effort. Lately all we seem to do when we meet up is have sex. We don't study together anymore, hang out with mutual friends, and her friends don't even know she is seeing me. How should I approach this situation? I love her so much we had been together for three years before the break, and now I am unsure if I am even worth it to her, or if she even cares, or if I am just another fling to keep her occupied. Edit. I accepted the break with little choice. It was her idea, and I felt it was either that or she'd end things so I stuck with that as the worst case scenario. She told me they met a month after we had started to take a break. You've invested three years into this relationship and now you're questioning whether she values you the same way you value her. Taking a break can be a gray area, but her decision to get involved with someone else during that time, especially while being emotionally distant now, is understandably messing with your trust. The fact that her friends don't even know you're seeing each other is a red flag. It's like she's compartmentalizing you, which might explain why you feel like you're just filling time for her rather than being in a genuine relationship. You deserve someone who's equally invested and who values your relationship beyond just sex or convenience. If she's not reciprocating the effort or making you feel secure, it's important to have an honest conversation with her. Lay out how you feel and what you need from the relationship moving forward. If she can't meet you halfway, it might be time to seriously consider whether this relationship is still right for you. You've put in a lot of love and time, but remember that a healthy relationship requires mutual effort, trust, and respect. 
Comments. To be fair to your girlfriend, unless you specifically put down ground rules about how you both would consider sleeping with other people cheating, she didn't technically cheat. You weren't together and she slept with somebody else. You're not cool with that and that's okay, I've been in your shoes. For me, when I realized how not cool with it, I was the best thing to do was end it and move on. We even took it a step further and laid down ground rules. It just never felt right to me and it doesn't seem like it sits right for you. Breaks always end poorly. That is where I drew the line while reading this. In marriage, there is no such thing as taking a break. So I feel like it shouldn't happen in a relationship, especially a serious one. Remember, a relationship is structured on love, compatibility, but the most important is trust. The first two in reality don't hold too much weight, but once trust is broken in what you feel is loyalty, then there is no going back if this is the reaction.